right, g'day. How's it going, Mike? Um, so Mike here has sprained um, his ligaments of the wrist. So today we're gonna to be using some K-tape to help um, support um, those ligaments to continue to heal and prevent further re-irritation. So we've got him lying down, nice and relaxed, his forearm on the pillow here. Got that wrist off the edge there so we can get access to the tape. Now, we're gonna start with an anchor. All, all tape needs anchoring because we wanna basically um, keep it stuck onto the skin, but tape doesn't stick to the skin very well. It sticks to itself really well. So we're gonna start with a nice little anchor. And we're gonna um, not have to worry about too many tabs for these ones because we're gonna be sticking over each other. So sometimes with K-tape, we can cut the edges off and um, that helps uh, it not peel up long term. With these sort of taping, we're not gonna really need that too much. So we just kind of cut a nice little relaxed bit of tape, no stretch needed for that first bit. And we're just going just distal to the wrist because that's gonna be where we wanna anchor that wrist and obviously then support it with the forearm. So obviously again, before you've done um, uh, administering a tape, we've gone through all of our um, warnings and contraindications. So obviously if there are any reactions to the tape in previous or um, uh, again, uh, if it feels swollen or it's throbbing, you know, just remove the tape, any pins and needles, all those really uh, um, bad symptoms, we're just gonna take the tape back off. But once obviously they're feeling good, they can keep it on for at least um, three days to provide that support um, through the wrist. So after we've done that anchor, then we're gonna to start to then apply strips of tape on around the wrist in a fashion to then um, support him into what we call the cup hold position. So Mike, I'll get you to pretend like you're holding a cup there. And that's basically that nice neutral wrist. If we lock him in there, we're not gonna to strain too much of those ligaments that are irritated. So in that position, we're gonna to start to do loops around the thumb, loops around the, the wrist itself to then support it. So with the K-tape, obviously it's got a little bit of stretch to it. So we're gonna cut shorter strips than what we expect. And then we're gonna stretch them out to give them that extra bit of rigidity and obviously um, prevent the movement. So whenever we do K-tape though, we always wanna have a little tab on the end and that means that it's not gonna then peel off. If it's stretched, that tape really easily peels off. So we're gonna keep a tab and then stretch that middle zone. For this one, first one, we're gonna actually start on the under surface of the wrist and then it's gonna fashion that sort of uh, cancer foundation or the, the breast cancer foundation sort of ribbon, starting on that underneath surface and then finishing on this top surface. So we'll see how we go for angles of the camera, but I'm just sticking that underneath his wrist there. Again, nice and relaxed with that first bit of tape. Then we apply the stretch onto the tape. So keeping a little tab at the end, I'm gonna apply that stretch into the middle of the tape. And that's where we, we're gonna go out and around trying to make it look nice and pretty, which um, we're doing great at the moment. And that's where again, we can obviously see that I've gone a little bit too short and we're gonna need a little bit longer. Let's see where the K-tape gets me all the time. So obviously, we can always cut longer strips rather than going too short. So let's just do a little bit longer on this next one. Again, nice and relaxed on that first sticking on. Then we're stretching. And again, covering that big sort of muscly part of the thumb and then sticking back along the wrist. Again, back onto that anchor so it secures it and doesn't lift back off. Now what we're gonna do with the next bit of tape is we're gonna go slightly higher just to cover that thumb and again, um, really support that wrist and then we're gonna to start to apply further bits of strips of tape to continue that wrist support. Again, you might ask the client, how they're feeling every bit of tape. Um, obviously, if it's too tight, let us know. Um, but if it's feeling good, we'll proceed. So 
Again, it might be stepping in front of the camera there, but got a little bit of a view. We're gonna go just slightly further higher than that last one. So again, that's gonna go a little bit higher up on the thumb, obviously, when we apply that tape out and around. Again, always having that stretch to begin with in the middle zone. Trying to iron out all those creases. They can always cause a little bit of rub on the skin. So it's always good to have nice flat bits of tape. All right, so we got the thumb nice and supported. <laughs> That's a really good taping right there for any sort of thumb injuries um, specific, but obviously Mike, his injuries continue through the rest of the wrist. So we're gonna also apply some more further straps. Again, these are just gonna be a little bit more of our wrist um, extension um, and flexion sort of support. So we're just gonna start to do a few strips. I'm gonna increase this wrist strap a little bit higher onto the wrist itself. Again, if your client at all uh, moves position, just again, reposition that wrist back into that, holding the, holding the cup, there we go. And then apply that sort of strapping over that area. So this is just a stock standard sort of wrist guard. Um, again, just sort of going over 